In this video we're going to look at some of the major gaming stocks. Hello my friends, my name is Mr. Orange, this is Streaming Deluxe. As you can see here on the, on the, on the screen, that's the Nasdaq Composite, which was dropping yesterday over 280 points. So it was like going down 3.8% as after we've seen actually uh, again some, some nice upturn. And yeah, and we already uh, were dropping like half of this upturn that we had before. So now from the all time high, it's 11.8% down. The all time high was, was end of August. And uh, to get back to the all-time high, the Nasdaq has to climb 13.39% again. So it looks actually, I would say, yeah, we, we are not, when, let's say we are in the, in the bear market when it's more down than 20% uh, in the Nasdaq. So at the moment we are at 11.8%. So I would not say we are uh, in the bear market in the, in the technical sense, but we are definitely, if you, if you compare it, with the uh, with the chart from the the last three years we're definitely in a, in a very volatile situation so what are the reasons the reasons are as always the same it's the it's the it's the hikes the interest hikes uh, by the fed so uh, you, we were talking about this already before and it's the trade war and the trade war uh, might uh, impact very strongly uh, companies like uh, like the the semiconductors or apple and yes on in argentina and buenos aires uh, donald trump was was talking on a, on a good level with uh, with the president from china and uh, it, I would say the, the, the outlook is not that grim that the 25% uh, tariffs are going to come. But of course, everything, we, we have no security at the moment. It's, it can change very rapidly. And it can really also be the case that we are, that we are in the, that we actually started here, the recession. I would say, yeah, that we started in August, the recession and 2019 uh, is going to be, uh, it's going to be a very, very, very difficult time at the at the stock markets. And then we're going to see, as hedge fund manager Ray Dalio said, end of 2019, 2020, we're going to be at the end of the cycle. So, but of course, it's, it's very difficult to, to make these predictions. I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say here is just uh, out of a hobby I have with some from the finance and with investing. So make up your own mind. Uh, don't invest into stocks I own. So always read everything and be, be, yeah, be clear that you can actually lose money because if you have wasted here at the all time high, you would have lost now. If you would have invested in an index fund, you would have lost now over 11% of your, of your money in the sense that you get it back when, uh, when you, when the Nasdaq uh, goes up again. But on the other hand, if you would sell now, the money would be gone. But of course, I'm sure people uh, watching this are not. Uh, bloody beginners when it comes to investing and they know uh, very well how this uh, How it works at the stock markets. Okay, my friends, that's the Nasdaq. That's the overview I would say and I, I wanted to show to you, this to you that you understand a little bit where we are at the moment and therefore let's jump into some specific uh, stocks and uh, Ubisoft is not listed at the Nasdaq. It's uh, listed at Paris uh, in at the Paris stock market. So where are we now here? We are 31% down from the all-time high. I would say that's a really nice uh, mountain we were creating here. It's not that uh, peaky, but uh, let's say it's... If it would stay like this, it's actually pretty nice, but, uh, but uh, yeah, it's all a question about uh, if we're going to get into an end of year rally i'm not really sure about this so so ubisoft overall is still a nice company i mean ubisoft have this have has these great brands like assassin's creed uh, and uh, the division comes out and they're going to go really much into games as service and they're going to stream games uh, in the cooperation together with google so it's very very interesting and i would say take you, you should have ubisoft uh, always uh, 
always on your watch, watch list as a gamer. I mean, they are one of the really major studios and the games they uh, published recently are very, very ironed out. They are like no bugs. It's very, very high quality games, I would say. All right, so how is the... Yeah, what happened with Nintendo? I mean, Nintendo yesterday, yesterday uh, 7% down. It's now at 35 Point seventy dollars. So that's that's really that's really hefty. I would say if you see it here. So it's have thirty seven point five nine percent down from the all time high. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So and you even have a double shoulder. Uh, uh, if you look at the chart here. So here I'm using the the candles because I, yeah. Why why I'm using them? I think I still can also change maybe here into lines so the candles but always the candles are good if you want to know what what is the opening price and what is the closing price all right let's look at the line maybe it's a bit more clear i would say i mean if you compare it to 2012 and 2015 which was more or less a good time for for stocks so 2015 was a bit worse but that's uh, nintendo is it's obviously a japanese company it's also listed there in tokyo and yeah, since then I would say uh, we we are still like 66% uh, up, and yeah, have have been up like 326%. So there you see exponential calculation and uh, interest uh, interest interest effect is uh, compounding effect is like like amazing. I mean. If you if you if you don't know how the compounding effect works, I recommend you to to type it here on Google on Google or on YouTube, and you're going to find some amazing uh, amazing videos and articles about this. And then you want to invest this very same day. I think so. For for me personally, Nintendo comes uh, comes slowly to. To fears where I say, uh, yeah, it might be interesting to invest in them. But on the other hand, uh, I'm, I mean, when I was a boy, I was super convinced by Nintendo as a company. But recently, I'm less convinced by the company. I'm, I have not been convinced by the Switch. So I know it's it's a success, and also the Nintendo uh, DS or 3DS are still successful consoles, and the games are, and the licenses are, are very valuable. And uh, they, if they bring out, for example, a new Pokemon or Mario game for mobile phones, then they also make a, a good business. But it's just, it's just a bit difficult with Nintendo. I think I'm really waiting here. I mean, if we see something like $13 again, then uh, count me in, I buy Nintendo. I mean, it can only go up then from here. So. But until then, I'm a bit reluctant. I'm a bit reluctant. And now the other company, Take Two Interactive, read that read that Redemption Two is definitely going to be one of the major titles in 2018, and I'm sure it's going to win all the awards of Game of the Year, etc. So I I bought it myself too. I but I did not play it more than like five ten hours, I think, uh, because I'm more a PC gamer and. Uh, and I'm a bit more lazy to to turn on my my PlayStation, so it's a good game. And I don't like playing uh, with console console controllers, some games like this where I have to aim very precisely. So I'm I'm very much looking also for a release for PC, and uh, yeah. So they they are really depending a lot on this game, and this game is going to get, as far as I know, some sort of microtransactions, and it's going to have a beat online uh, online mode. It's going to have a beta phase soon, and yeah, I mean, sure, microtransactions. That's the whole business. So Take Two Interactive needs to earn some money with this game, otherwise it's not working out. So uh, it was clear that they're going to go this path. So it keeps up uh, quite nice. So 26% down from all time high yet. So it's the overall market downturn. Uh, well, let's see what happens at $94 around there. So if we can, if it breaks through there, I would say it's, we can even see like 70 dollars. So it's not a, it's not a company I would invest in personally. Uh, but I understand the people, if people like the company in general. Then next company, my friends, Electronic Arts, the most adored and the most beloved company in the video game's history. So just kidding. So Battlefield, not Front, so we're always mixing those two up. Uh, Five was coming out, so it's 
It seems to be a very decent game, but look at this, Mr. Orange was not buying it. So can you imagine? I was not buying this game. I, am, I buy my, mostly all the AAA games. I was just not interested in buying it, so I played, I played the beta, the alpha or something like this, which was free on the Origin launcher on PC. Yeah, it's a good game. I mean, I had fun, but but it's Battlefield, so I played it. I played it too often. I played it too often. So 45% down. So so every Electronic Arts uh, investor is waiting for new sports games, is waiting for Anthem, for new Star Wars games. So there there may might be some 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 change in the, in the shot, I would say. But on the other hand, you have to. Yeah, you have to accept it's also in the in the overall downturn of the Nasdaq and the electronic uh, st electronic uh, new tech stocks. I I'm not surprised if we're going to see like forty three dollars uh, next year. So otherwise, otherwise something has to change in the market. So. So at thirty, yeah, at fifty dollars, I think it might be an interesting stock uh, also to to get into because then the upturn is very uh, very high, and then uh, I would be interested in. Uh, I mean, it's always important to get this stock cheap, and then then you can uh, then you're much more relaxed. So if then you don't care if it uh, loses at uh, one point like twenty percent or goes down thirty percent. So it's always important to get them cheap. So don't buy at an all-time high. But good, there are people there are trend followers or trend traders so they always buy this watch is trendy at the moment okay you can do it if you want to make uh make play maybe maybe five five to eight nine percent <laughs> but uh i prefer I, I prefer buying it at the at the, at the sort of bottom you will never catch the bottom of course also don't catch the falling knife people say so uh, that means uh, if it falls don't buy it immediately always wait until some support uh, has been developed so question is if this $80 are holding up then, uh, then maybe uh, we can develop some sort of uh, support line here otherwise I think we go straight through to lower lows and another one of my favorite companies my friends Tencent Holdings it's a, it's a Chinese company and here you see here you see here you see my friends so uh, lost like 47% from the all-time high, had problems with the licenses of games in, in China, the trade frictions also made, uh, made the Chinese companies in general problems. But, but since like end of October, we're going to see some upturn again. And I think, I think it's broken here. We broke through. It's a, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's, it's still possible. It's still possible, of course, that we we will stop here at a certain point and then uh, going uh, going falling down again uh, before we, we we find maybe some support line here at let's say uh, 27, 28 dollars. But on the other hand, here's a here was a good possibility to get in and uh, at least profit from like a, from like some. Let's, let's check how much it was. Yeah, like could get some from thirty percent around some thirty percent here. Uh, pretty pretty nice, I would say. It was a good uh, entry point. But on the other hand, let's be a bit cautious here. But it's not falling that, uh, this extremely anymore. So it's only two percent. It's also together with some other Chinese stocks. So they uh, they 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 rise very very quickly and then they fall also. Uh, yeah, they rise quickly but fall much slowly slowly so but people say emerging markets are interesting again so it's a fair valuation now analysts say this i'm not saying this and this means uh, check it out so check it out it's still interesting and another stock i was buying two times and i'm a bit disappointed to, to be honest so activision blizzard so what, what went wrong so i mean we are down now we're down on 44 percent and this looks extremely steep. I mean, I mean, there's not even even a sense of of finding some sort of a support line. Okay, here here comes some support. So, and you see also it wasn't it was actually with this crazy with this crazy uh, they call it a market puke when everything is red uh, yesterday. 
it actually Activision Blizzard was only falling 0.17%, which was pretty good. So they hold up pretty well, pretty well, but only because they were like uh, getting smashed already before. So my friends, I would say, so if it, if we fall here on 35 dollars, you should definitely get into and the th uh, check check. I'm not saying you should, but uh, you should. Uh, always consider uh, making up your own mind at what point you think uh, the the company's fair has a fair evaluation so th 28 is also pretty nice so, so i think for me personally at a certain point i would say i'm going to i'm going to to, to buy purchase some more uh, maybe at 35 or at uh, 28 since then 35 we are 60 60% down and then we are 38 we're like 65% down so I think it's still a great company and the, and the numbers are not that bad yes uh, they need some new Diablo maybe some new World of Warcraft games or other games so sure 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 but on the other end it's still one of the major at least uh, yeah major gaming companies out there my friends and then NVIDIA, let's jump to the next stock. So NVIDIA, not a gaming company, but NVIDIA as a hardware producer, uh, just brought out the RTX 2080 Ti and then uh, a new T-Rex, a new T-Rex graphic cards come, so which has specs like crazy, I mean, I mean, it has like, I think, I think 24 uh, video RAM. So it's, re it's really great. It's really great. So I'm also, I also have NVIDIA stocks. So I have Activision stocks, um, Tencent stocks and NVIDIA stocks from those stocks I'm talking here about. And I think, I think 7.6% from, from, yeah, from day before yesterday is it's not the worst it's not the worst if you look at the chart in general you would say yeah it really hurts it really hurts but on the other hand i mean it's this can this goes up quickly enough it really goes up in two three days it is winning back like 20 30 percent so but it's also nvidia is very much uh, dependent on the overall market situation so so it's a, it's a stock with high volatility and uh, I don't doubt that we might see the hundred dollars soon. I don't doubt this. So, I mean, the markets have to turn completely, and that's what a lot of analysts and experts are actually saying is not going to happen. So, I think we can see the see the hundred, uh, the hundred, uh, the hundred dollars, and then my friends, and then my friends, it would have been sixty five percent down. So, which is which is a lot so and then it's very interesting to to check check back into the stock so in 2008 and 7 so at the financial crisis it was 37 euros and it was falling to five dollars so 37 dollars sorry and it was falling to five dollars so you see you see what can happen what can happen yeah and then uh, three years later it was at 26 again and then here was like 2006 was it the Bitcoin? Was it the cryptocurrencies? I have no idea. It's very difficult to say. It's, it might be possible. So 2017, December, it was definitely the, the cryptocurrencies that were pushing uh, NVIDIA a lot. So it was, this what was clear when you were watching like CNBC or other um, economic uh, finance channels or you were reading stuff uh, from people that were actually buying NVIDIA because they thought they Nvidia is like the shovel when everyone wants to have gold uh, and is pushing the frontier. So Nvidia is selling the the shovels to sh to, to to get to get the gold to buy to mine the Bitcoin. So yeah, <laughs> it's a nice chat. So well, I have to say I'm I'm fine now. So I'm a little bit in the minus at the moment in the red, but I think I think we get over this. So. Or at least if we fall to 100, then I'm going to buy some more, I think. And that's some other Chinese stocks. So, yeah, Chinese uh, electro car company, if you're interested in. Uh, but that's not related to video games, to video games, computer gaming companies, 
ducks and that's what I'm going what I'm talking about in this series so so my friends I hope you enjoyed this video leave me a comment uh, I love the engagement leave me a thumbs up or thumbs down I don't care follow me and uh, I'm going to talk a lot about uh, the stock market also in the future also even if it, if it continues to go down I'm not getting away from you I'm not going away from you I'm continuing to talk about this because there are a lot of youtubers that stop talking about stock markets or cryptocurrencies the moment they go down and the interest is disappearing no I'm going to talk about this because I think I, I like it and I think it's fun Okay, my friends, have a wonderful day. So the markets are closed today, so no trading and nothing for today for our friends in the US, uh, for our friends in Europe or Asia. Everything's fine. Spend your money on stocks, you can still do it. <laughs> Always make up your own mind. So I'm, I'm, I'm not taking any responsibility for anything, of course, like all the other YouTubers. So guys, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.